Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking sunscreens. Now, I know a lot of people that agonize over which sunscreen to choose. They have so many different ones in their collection and they're constantly switching them out, switching in, to try and get the very best coverage no matter what the season and the weather is doing. In truth, sunscreen shouldn't be that complicated. I actually wanna share with you the only three sunscreens you need in order to be covered for every single occasion and eventuality. These are the three that are consistently in my skincare routine and I've got some other options and honorable mentions too. So there truly is something here no matter where in the world you live. Sit back, relax, let's talk demystifying sunscreen. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your personal go-to sunscreens are. So sound off in the comment section below. Also, let's have a little bit of a survey. How many total sunscreens do you actually have in your collection now? Is it just one? Or like a lot of people, are there 10, 15 or multiples thereof? Again, leave me a comment because I do really love to hear from you. I want to get this message out there loud and clear because I hate the idea that people are overpaying for sunscreens, buying more than they need, or almost getting to the point where they don't want to apply sunscreen because they think it's too complex. That shouldn't be the case. The best way of helping me to get this message out there is by reaching down and giving this video a thumbs up and a like. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now, the first sunscreen that you're going to want is a good, affordable body sunscreen. Now, in truth, you can use body sunscreens on the face and vice versa, but I actually like to go for a really cheap body sunscreen that I can apply liberally, and then I spend a little bit more on the sunscreens I apply to my face. The reason I tend to do that is because the sunscreens that I apply to my face, I want to wear well under any makeup that I might want to wear. I want them to feel super elegant, really lightweight, whereas I'm less bothered about these things on the products that I put on the body, so I'm quite happy to go for a cheaper option that might not be quite as elegant. Fortunately, body sunscreens have come a long way recently. You get really high performance products and they almost feel as good as some of the really high end facial sunscreens. Now my favorite and the one that I always go to year in, year out is this. This is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Hydra 24 Protect SPF 50. This is a great option because it's one of the more lightweight body sunscreens that you'll find, glides onto the skin, feels absolutely gorgeous. I'm prone to break out my chest and back and this doesn't break me out at all. So again, it's compatible if you have breakout prone or acne prone skin and it's five pounds. Five pounds for this amount of product, which is why I think it's so good. You know, our bodies, they take a lot of coverage, whereas I think we'll use less product generally on the face because it's a smaller surface area. On the body, you're gonna get through a lot of products, so don't overpay. Get a really inexpensive drugstore body sunscreen like this one and apply it liberally. And honestly, it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. Now, when it comes to facial sunscreens, there are two different types that I always have in my skincare collection. First up is a super hydrating sunscreen that can act as a moisturizer and an SPF all in one. The reason I like this is A, it saves some money. You're using, you know, you're getting two benefits from one product. It means that you're saving a little time because you're not applying a moisturizer, then a sunscreen on top. And best still, it leaves a more lightweight finish on the skin. If you're applying two products one after the other, it's bound to sit a little heavier on the skin than having one product that just does it all. Which is why I like to reach for a super hydrating moisturizer and sunscreen all in one. I just think it works beautifully on my skin, particularly in those warmer summer months. There isn't a whole lot of choice on the market when it comes to hydrating sunscreens. Lots will claim to be, but actually when you try them on, it gives very little hydration or immediate hydration, but then that seems to wear off somehow as the day goes on. So out of frustration, I actually created my own product, which is this. This is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. Packed full of hydrators and humectants, this acts as a real broad spectrum sunscreen, giving you SPF 50 plus coverage and some of the highest UVA protection too that you can get over the counter. All of that's combined with these moisturizing factors to just give you that really nice application, super hydrating, and I'm actually wearing it today. So you'll see it gives you just a hint of dewiness plumping to the skin, which is great, and that moisturizing doesn't wear off. So you put this on the skin and your skin remains plump and hydrated for as long as you have it on. This for me is a real benefit over some of the other options on the market, and it's kind of out of that frustration not being able to find what I wanted that I created this. I am so, so proud of it. So if you're looking for a chemical sunscreen that's super super hydrating. This is the one that I recommend. Now, it's relatively inexpensive anyway, particularly when you think you get 100 mil of product here versus the 50 mil that's the standard size for facial sunscreens. I don't know why brands think that we want these minuscule little amounts of facial sunscreen. You get through it so quickly and it's just really inconvenient. So I want you to create a larger size, so you're buying it less frequently, 
saving on some of the product and packaging waste and also on your air miles because you're buying less fewer shipments and fewer shipping miles so if you did want to get your hands on this we can really struggle to keep it in stock honestly as soon as the batch comes in it sells out like that we have a new batch coming in at the start of next week so we're selling it now if you did want to try it out the link like i said is in the description box below but also a little bit of a discount to say if you buy four units of this and stock up you'll save 15 percent on all of them so that's just a great way of me helping you guys to save some of your hard-earned coin stock up on sunscreen so you're protected all summer long now this is a chemical sunscreen which is my preferred uv filters i think you get better broad spectrum coverage from chemical filters and they just sit better on my skin but if you want a mineral sunscreen that's also a really great moisturizer i would recommend this the haru haru black rice pure mineral sunscreen so this is a really nice product for people that are looking for those mineral filters it's not quite as hydrating as the mad about skin one but for a mineral sunscreen it definitely adds back moisture as opposed to looking chalky and drawing out all the hydration that you have in your skin. I really like this one. Um, it's not my day two preferred one, but on those days where I want to mix it up, I always have some great results with this. So I definitely recommend it for those of you guys that love a little mineral action in your sunscreen. Now, the other type of facial sunscreen I always have is a super, almost impossibly lightweight one. So I'll use the hydrating sunscreens that I've just talked about day in, day out. But on those super hot, humid days where I want to feel like I'm literally wearing nothing on the skin. There are two products I always reach for that just deliver that invisible protection that's so impossibly lightweight. You actually question whether you put it on in the first place. Great for hot, humid conditions, and it's these two. So this is the Skin 1004 Centella Sunscreen. A really, really nice option. Not as hydrating as the ones that I've just talked about, but really, really lightweight, which is a great option for people that, you know, feel like they almost can't sweat through their sunscreen. They want something lightweight. This is great. And this is a new discovery, which I cannot stop raving about. This is the Pure Fault Calming Water Sunscreen by Numbuzzin. It goes by different names in different territories. So I'll link it in the description in case you were wondering why it's got a different name in one place versus another. But this, honestly, it is so lightweight. It goes on as a beautiful gel. You can actually put this in the fridge for ultimate cooling in summer. And five seconds, gone. Literally gone. You, you forget you've worn it. You can't even feel it on the skin. It is so nice. It is fragrance free, but it doesn't have that gluey scent that some chemical sunscreens can have. And it, it just disappears. <laughs> it's like invisible. So if you're in a hot, humid climate, or you go through those days in the warm summer months where you think, oh my gosh, my skin just feels so, so overburdened with product. I would just try this. I think, honestly, it's unbeatable. So, so good for lightweight sunscreens. So there you have it, guys. A rundown of the only three sunscreens you actually need. Now, okay, these are sunscreen types, but I would encourage everybody to explore these three different types of sunscreens, have them on hand for really mixing it up depending on what your skin needs on the day. You don't need 20 different sunscreens. You just need three that match each one of these types. And honestly, your skin will protect it no matter what the world throws at you. A good, affordable body sunscreen that you can apply liberally to all the exposed body areas without breaking the bank. A hydrating moisturizer and sunscreen combo for those days where you want to streamline things down. You want your hydration and your protection all in one product and a super lightweight sunscreen for those hot, humid days. I've just given you some inspiration for the products I personally use in each of these categories. But of course, if you've got any additions, let me know in the comments section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well. I love your skin. Take care. Bye.